Welcome back to another episode of The Unfair Advantage, episode three. We are breaking down the complexities of AI, making it simple for every business owner to dive headfirst and scale your business at the speed of light. Let's dive in. So you've heard things or you felt things like AI is this beast. I don't know where to start. It's crazy. I can't even log on to my Facebook. Like, what do I do with AI, ChatGPT? How do I use that? It's too much. I'm not going to get into it. It's really not. It's, it's way more simple than you think. You know, I think there's a lot of stigmatisms out there, and, and rightfully so. This is a newer thing that's coming around, but it's accessible to everybody. It's just taking that mindset and flipping it and understanding that it can help you scale your business so that you don't have to continue running on that daily hamster wheel so that you can work on the business instead of in the business. So breaking down these insights so that everybody can understand them is what we're here to do today. And taking your complex mindset and simplifying it is our goal. When we typically think about AI, maybe you're thinking about Cortana from Halo, shout out, nerd alert, or something like, you know, Skynet or the Terminator and all these crazy things that's been in Hollywood and on the internet. And in reality, all AI currently is, is a predictive text model that's taking custom instructions by you or by a custom GPT that's pre-built by someone else or something like that, that is predictively giving you the answers that you're searching for. And that's ultimately all it is, whether we're generating images or whether we're generating text and, and stuff like that. It's not more complicated than that. So thinking about it as if it's a hologram that you have to talk to and the super brain is a supercomputer on all the movies you see, that's not what it is. While it's maybe getting there at some point and you see some stuff in the horizon like it's a little bit scary, that's not what's happening. The simplicity of it is available to everybody and it's really just leveraging the instructions that you give it. So you get out of it what you give it. So understanding how to talk to it is ultimately the only conversation that we need to be having. As an entrepreneur in a small business, we're all going through next levels and stages, and it's generally hard to kind of do all of this ourselves. And while we may be plugged into other masterminds and communities, having access to something like ChatGPT, where we can get immediate feedback from something that is smart, quote unquote, if we make it smart, right? And you know, having that coach you to take you to the next level is an easy first step to leveraging AI. So something like, you know, first telling it, say, hey, you are a professional business coach that understands how to scale business from X to Y based off of where you are in that business and what your needs are. And coach me or first learn about my business in such depth that you have all of the information you need to give me a perfect business plan or a perfect a coach session to take me to the next level. What you can do then is it will ask you questions and you can even say, you know, give me predetermined answers so that you don't have to necessarily type out everything or you can just type out everything to make it as accurate as possible, but leveraging it that way to give it all the information to learn about you and then to say, coach me through the next step and then go through all of your pain points and where you're at with your business and say, make recommendations based off of this. I think being hyper-specific, telling it what kind of coach to be is going to be helpful. So if you're a med spa that needs to scale and you're stuck in that 500 to a million dollar range and you're not sure what to do with marketing or your operations side, you know, tell it that. Say, I need you to be an operations business coach. Coach me on how to hone in all of my SOPs, how to take my business from me working in it to on it on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So leveraging it that way to be a coach and be something that's familiar is, is the best way to dive in. And that can help you explore the possibilities. I think once you get that understanding of, whoa, this is what I can do, you'll have way more intrigue and interest to do more. So start there, have it coach you so you can see the power. So outside of chat bots, booking calls, all the direct stuff that you see, immediately what you could do is head over to Zapier, plug in some of your tools that you use, whether that be QuickBooks or Bonsai, you know, whatever you're using, you can plug Plug these tools in for an incredible onboarding experience. There's no reason for you to do the mundane tasks that are repetitive, but obviously necessary. And the first impressions are the biggest thing, right? So what we want to do is, is connect all the tools. So once you do close a client that you have a series of automations that are easy, you could even head over to Zapier and type in a prompt. They have AI built into it now that it can pull the correct or suggested tools within its own tools to 
pair those together, and then you just plug in and play in, right? So when a client closes and you've got a contract that closes on Stripe, let's say, and you've got an onboarding process and a form that's over in GHL, you send that out. Once that form is then sent out and completed, we then send them an additional form or an, a contract or a welcome kit. All of these things, when it's tailored to them in, an, in a seamless experience, that makes all of the difference with having that first impression that lasts and it makes an impact on them to, for you know to ultimately have a longer staying client and increase your retention so the onboarding process can be completely streamlined that's a great place to start if you're not doing that now you can do the simplest thing is to start with if you use stripe or whatever your billing is start with that and then connect a forum for onboarding and then go from there you can piece you can piece it together and build on it don't feel like you have to do it all let's just start with the basics and grow. So a deeper example of how AI can be used where our swarm system is leveraging it to the top level, right, is one of our clients, ProCare, and in one of our businesses, we have been able to, you know, part of our onboarding process is to do a very detailed and deep target audience research development. So we don't just stop there, right? We, what we do is we take that information and we use that as the brain and, and plug it in and create what we call our swarm AI. That's the ability for us to talk to our target audience day and night. And while that's incredibly valuable, right, we can say, does this social media post resonate with you? Write me an email our nurturing email sequence that you know, for this service or for this new event or something like that, that can be very valuable. But let's take it to the next level, right? What we do is we add in pre-prompts so that ourselves internally or externally for our clients can leverage our Swarm AI that's based off of their target audience at a deep level. And one of our favorite pre-prompts is, you know, tell me a day in the life of the target audience that has nothing to do with our products or services. I want to hear what their pain points are throughout the day. And when we do that, the results are absolutely astonishing it's because we ultimately see what they're going through on a day or nightly basis um, in, a, in a journal way that's emotional. So we can take that information, again, at an even deeper level, see who our target audience is, and then pull those pain points out to be Facebook ads, to be social posts. That content resonates so deeply, you get a higher quality lead because it feels like you're talking directly to them. I know that when I'm, some of the entries that we've had for, for all of our clients, it's just like mind blowing. It's like, I wish I would have had this years ago before this was around because it's such an easy win and it's such an easy way to actually get to the right place at the right time and, and really understand your target audience at a deep level. That's just a, one of the many examples that we have in our swarm system, but that's a top line kind of crazy automation and, and, and AI scenario that, you know, is possible and accessible for anyone, really. We're not necessarily special in that way, even though we like to think so. But, you know, I think that opening your mind and hearing the possibilities and, and being free to be creative and see and ask others, you know, would this be possible? I have this idea, like I want this automation to do X, Y, and Z. That's where I started. That's where I was just like, where can I go with this? What can I do? And now my brain is unlocked and it's, it's the sky is the limit. So start playing around with it Get and, and just start asking what if and connecting with people that can make it happen. And you, know, you can make some magic. So imagine we've all been there. We have a new lead or a new client and we need to nurture them, whether that's selling them over time, upselling them, reminding them to fill out a form or reminding them to make an update. The manual labor of reaching out to them is so stressful, but guess what? It has to happen. You got to do it to get in front of your customers and to make actions move because, you know, ultimately you're reaching out to another human that needs to do something and things happen in their life that they may forget or the email got lost or went to spam or whatever that is. This is this is a day in the life of an entrepreneur. Thankfully, there are people like James Hurst who are putting together incredible tools that are able to do an infinite email and, and, and conversation sequence that brings people back, takes you out of that having to chase the tail uh, kind of you know day-to-day -day stuff. So leveraging tools like this and, and listening to him on the marketing show and being involved in a community and looking at these tools that can take back your time and and help you scale is just another prime example of how you can act now. That's going to follow James Hurst. He, I totally recommend him. He's a you know a leader in the space, and we are we are using his tools as we speak. Couldn't couldn't speak higher of him. If you're not using those tools, 
It's time. Get in there and get your time back. So now that you understand the power of AI, how easy it is to start out with, I want to send you a challenge. Don't just skip over this. Make this happen. Do this today. Do this right now. Pull up your browser. It's time to take your time back and make your business the business it can be without having to hire and do all this crazy stuff. I want you to go out and do one thing, one automation today that can save you time so that you can experience the power and simplicity of what we've talked about. Again, just heading over to Zapier, typing in in the in the chat bot there, telling it, hey, I've got a I've got a this tool that needs to be connected to this one. What would you recommend? That's it. Connect the dots. You put the API keys in there. Don't get scared of those words. They're easy. There, there's a click links that do it directly over there. Don't overthink it, but just do it so that you can experience the power that we're talking about today so you can see the bigger picture. Now, that's all we have for this episode this week. Drop a comment on how you are going to leverage an AI tool and what your dreams and hopes are at the long run. What are those things that ultimately could be so powerful that could move mountains? Leave those comments below. Let me know what you think and give me some ideas. Maybe we'll, we'll pick out some of these to review on AI marketing tools and build these things ourselves. You have a great one.